Hello everyone and welcome. Make a cup of your favorite drink and get comfortable because this is a wonderful time for new stories from Yellowcad. Send your own stories in the comments below and maybe they'll be in our new video. Employees of Reddit, I was just accused of stealing water. What crazy accusation has an employee or supervisor made about you? Part 2. Time clock thievery while doing volunteer work. For details, it was a simple volunteer gig, no major organization, and nobody was keeping track of hours for anything, and it was not court mandated. We were cleaning up at the end of the day, and I answered a phone call. The supervisor got all peed and, GET OFF THE PHONE, THAT'S TIME CLOCK thievery. Back when I was in high school, I worked for my town's parks department. One time, my boss, who was a total sleazeball who s-harassed every girl there and hated me mostly for not being female, calls me into his office. While there, he accuses me of stealing a $3 check and then says that I have to be let go. I tell him point blank that if I was to steal from the department, it would be something a lot more than a measly $3 check. What the H would I do with that anyway? Later on, I find out from a friend of mine that he found the check underneath his desk, and then a month later, someone finally reported him for harassment, and he got fired too. Karma's a B, yo. Money. An old manager before I ended up working in government accused me of stealing from a till at a little convenience store I worked at as a supervisor. I ended up suspended and paraded through the store by my boss and his boss as a criminal when they escorted me off the premises and told me they'd be in touch. So I was on suspension with pay, thank F, until they decided to investigate this fully. I happily had quite a few beers as it was a Friday night when they suspended me and thought F you and started searching for new jobs. My manager called me up on Saturday morning, ugh, hangover, and called me in. He then slated at me bullying charges from other members of staff, his boss nowhere to be seen, and told me, I can send these charges up the chain of command, yes, he used those words, or you can hand your notice in and leave now. I was 19, peed off at my treatment by this effort of a manager since he'd taken over, so I thought to H with you and your company, went home, wrote my notice, and handed it in with the understanding of all your holiday will be paid and you won't need to work the notice period. D and me never got it in writing. In hindsight, I should have asked to look at those charges and effed him from there, but it takes a long-winded part here. I left the company and expected my last month's pay packet as agreed with my boss when I handed the notice in. Behold the pay packet of 910 pound short fine for not working notice. I go back to see my old boss who rapidly avoids me and hides in the office. I speak to the assistant manager who lets me into the back store to have a chat with the manager. He tells me to leave or he'll call the police. Old assistant manager gets involved and lets me in the back door, shut in Reddit, when he isn't there to have a look at some records. Effer never had charges there, Effer never put my notice in, and it got classified as AWOL. Effer. The charge he got me with originally? A till that was 32 pounds and 12 pence down. War. I went in all guns blazing with this backup and a letter from my third cousin. She works in law that basically he gives me the cash or he's effed. This is after a long drawn out you give me the cash and this goes no further ultimatum from me after I've started working at my new place making nice dosh. It's the principal. He avoids it and thinks I've got nothing until I give him this letter from my cousin. He S's bricks and hands me 750 pounds out of the secure safe. Yup, the money had been going walkabout somewhere and into someone's pocket. But it certainly wasn't mine, it was his. I made sure that he gave me the cash in the storeroom with my back to the camera in there, said thank you, and was on my merry way home. But a quick call to HR made sure they'd view that footage just now. Two months later, I pop in as I need some beers for a party and my old assistant manager pulls me to the side to have a quiet word. Turns out the manager had stolen 28,000 pounds worth of goods and money from the company. He got taken to court, prosecuted, and lost everything. 
Funny thing is, two years later where I'm working, his name comes up on the unemployment benefit register over here, and I sit there with a smug grin knowing that effer got caught and lost everything, all because of his lack of integrity. Mine isn't nearly as compelling as others. A year after I started working for a company as a graphic designer, turned out I was also the marketing and web design departments as well, my wife got pregnant with our first child. This was an office filled mostly with middle-aged women, I was in my mid-late 20s, and they were all excited, even threw us a baby shower. All goes well and my son is born, and I take two weeks vacation time to be with my wife and child, two weeks I had saved up. I come back and my boss is suddenly very aloof and non-communicative with me, where previously she and I were pretty close. This goes on for several months until I learn budget cuts have eliminated my position effective in six months from the time I found out. Through my co-workers, I found out that my boss was peed I had a baby and that I wasn't dedicated to the cause. She was also at the budget meeting and initially there were no cuts to our division but she threw me under the bus saying my work was non-essential. So here I am with a young family and staring down the barrel of unemployment. Turns out, though, that another company had been following my work and were eager to sign me on. Needless to say, I didn't do S for the next six months and am now happy at my current position and making more moolah to boot. Their company is now in the s -er, and I poached one of their biggest clients on the way out. I was called a racist because I didn't really talk or interact with one of my fellow employees beyond what was needed. I had to explain to my boss, who was also black, that I wasn't a racist, I just didn't talk to this girl because she was incredibly annoying. I was accused of bringing down my entire department of 40 plus people for what the folks in charge consider excessive internet usage. Let me explain. My company is very strict as to what sites you can and cannot visit on the intranet. I actually just found out last week that Reddit is okay. Anyway, apparently every time you go to a site that isn't considered work-related, the site you go to is logged as well as the amount of bandwidth it wastes. Some other sites just get banned altogether and are usually sites that stream videos, pee, gambling, stuff like that. Up until last year, I had a subscription to Sirius Radio, which included an internet subscription. So one day, I try to get on Sirius to see if it could be streamed, and to my surprise slash delight, I could not only access the site, but also the radio feature. So for two weeks, I was streaming Sirius non-stop during my eight-hour workday. Fast forward to the Monday after those two weeks are up, and I get a phone call from the head of my department asking me to come into her office. I figured it can't be all that bad as she and I speak on an almost regular basis. So I try to log on to Sirius before I go to her office, and it won't. In fact, I can't even access the site now. I didn't think anything of it until I went into my meeting. Apparently, the company chief technology officer contacted the head of my department and told her that I myself was the number one abuser of non-work-related internet usage for that particular month. Evidently, I used 2.8 gigs of bandwidth just from streaming music. I was given a pretty serious pep talk and was told that my actions not only hurt myself, but also the entire department is now suffering because of me. I was also told that my department is lucky to even still be existing after what I've done and that if she had her way in regards to the incident, I'd never work here again. Thankfully, all that happened was I was put on final warning, step three in the three-step warning process before being canned, and that my non-work-related internet was blocked for a month. Well, not one week later, I found a job in a different department, and that written warning went away. Needless to say, my boss was furious. I can't believe I forgot about this part. So later on that week, I had a team meeting with my supervisor and I believe it was five other people. During that meeting, she had to give a presentation about proper internet usage because people, me, have been abusing it. Of course, she never outed me, but I obviously knew it wasn't a company-wide issue. So now Friday comes around and we have a department-wide staff meeting. Again, it's about 40 or so people in my entire department. 
My department head thought it would be a good idea for someone from HR to give a presentation about proper internet usage to my entire department. Okay, now I'm starting to get mad at this point. The icing on the cake came that next Monday. I turned on my computer and opened up my email to find something from corporate communications. I thought to myself, if this is what I think it is, sure enough, a memo sent to the entire company, all 4,000 or so people, reminding us about proper internet usage because, and this is the best part, certain individuals abusing it. A part of me appreciated being noticed. I worked in retail as a cashier at a pet store for a long time, and occasionally when there was nothing going on, I would just grab a couple tennis balls and juggle them to keep myself amused. I'm pretty good at it, can do three in all sorts of weird ways without looking at it or thinking about it, so I converse with customers perfectly normally when I need to, and most of them find it funny. If I didn't think they would, I'd stop before they even made it close to conversation range, and I'd done it long enough that I was a pretty good judge of that kind of thing. Cue a day such as that. I'm bored and juggling while I watch the front door. Family comes in with little kids. They laugh at the juggling and come talk to me for a little while about reptiles and juggling while I try to teach one of their sons, five or six years old, how to juggle because he asked me to. Good times were had by all, they walk off and do their shopping with their little son trying to juggle the mini tennis balls I gave him. Immediately get a call into the back by the assistant manager who, with another manager present as a witness I guess, decides he's going to rip me a new one for being disrespectful to the customers by juggling and not giving them my full attention. I respectfully, perhaps sarcastically, no promises, disagree, and when he looks to the other manager in the room to back him up, you could just tell the guy was completely uninterested in getting involved, and he basically had nothing bad to say. Assistant manager continues to lay into me a bit more, says he's going to work with me on not being disrespectful like that, and if it continued, we'd have to have a talk about my employment. I leave. Month later, new store manager gets hired, walks to the front with the assistant manager, and sees me juggling. Assistant manager gets the look like he's about to rip me a new one, but the store manager laughs, compliments me on my juggling, goes and grabs his own tennis balls, and starts juggling too. Oh man, the look on the assistant manager's face. Priceless. Guys, thank you for all the support and the likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. See you next time.